Hello fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to zigzag a closed seam. I've got a open seam and now I'm going to be doing a closed seam so the seam is now closed and what I'm going to show you here is the method of zigzagging on a sewing machine to get the same effect that you would have with an overlocker or serger. So here we have a closed seam that is done with an overlocker or serger and if you don't have that type of machine the next method is to do a closed seam and it can be on a woven or knitted fabric and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and zigzag the edge. Where you do your zigzag stitch depends on the fabric that you're using. Now, um, if your fabric doesn't fray a lot, you may wish to zigzag along the cut edge here. Or if it does, then I would recommend that you place your foot along the straight stitch line and then you do your zigzag stitch rough, roughly about here, which will be about uh, five millimeters from the cut edge. You just keep going down making sure that this edge of your foot is aligned with your stitch line and the next step is to trim away the access seam allowance now you want to be making sure that you're close to the zigzag stitch but you don't want to be cutting into it you just go all the way down okay and now you have your closed zigzag seam now if I just bring over the overlocked or surge seam hopefully let me put it that way you can see the difference so you can now can have the same effect if you don't have a serger or an overlocker, a closed seam, which is zigzagged, finished. There we have it, a closed zigzag seam. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Zone Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials. And if you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.